morning and thanks for joining me. This is hunt number three this year, and I'm hoping to hunt this morning and tonight. It's a little warm this morning, you know, 52, but um, ain't gonna get anything sleeping. I'll be honest with you, it was hard to get out of bed this morning. I was sleeping pretty well and got to bed late because of some kid stuff I had to take care of, but <coughs> laid in bed and usually I would convince myself not to go but I, I forced myself out of bed and here I am probably about 20 minutes from my spot but anyway I'm going into a spot that I've, I've never hunted um, in this particular spot it's pretty tight it's kind of embedding at a minimum it's right on the edge but I would say it's probably even a little bit into the bedding but being public land and I don't know, just feel like I should be I should be aggressive. So I may even do a little bit of grunting and light sparring if uh, if um, you know I feel like it come nine nine thirty and nothing's happening, just to see if maybe I can pull something out. But we'll see when I we'll see when that happens. Hopefully that I don't need to do that. So here we go, hunt number three, October eleventh, I believe. And uh, cold front supposed to come through tonight with some rain, pr probably at the end of you know last within the last hour of a uh, shooting light. So I'm hoping to um, maybe catch something moving before then, getting ready for it. But we'll see what happens. I don't know what the deal is, but I have three idiots literally talking full voice. Probably 120 yards behind me. I think what's happening is they have a dog and they're gonna blood trail something, which probably means they're gonna come right through here. But I've had my light on getting ready and they've seen it. The fact that they wouldn't wait till daylight or at least after the morning hunt to come in and look for a dog or a deer is just absolutely insane. This must be the year for me to have to deal with idiots. I don't know what the deal is, but how you can be so inconsiderate. I'm not the only one hunting on this property. How you can be so inconsiderate. Of all the places I chose to hunt this morning, I've never hunted this spot. And it's not easy access. <sighs> you have these idiots back here, talking full voice, shining flashlights. I think they have a dog. Getting to my spot wasn't easy either. I, I don't know. This is probably a complete waste. Oh well, it is what it is. I figured out what those guys are doing. They're duck hunting. <laughs> I can hear them down there calling the ducks. He's 
spooked. I think he saw me move when I went to get the camera. Oh well, at least I saw a deer. Getting this thick stuff. He came up to these trees that are decent size. You find beds up on the high ground where it's dry. I don't see any rubs or anything, and I haven't seen any big tracks, so I'm thinking they're probably does. But I'm just gonna keep moving along here. See the trail. There's a trail right through there. I'm gonna follow it. There's literally acorns everywhere here. Clearly, these trees in here are dropping. I want to get back there though. And there's a clear, a relatively clear path, easier to go through there, but. I think was a deer going through, so I'm trying to stay to this side over here because the way the wind is. I'm just not sure how if I can get through there quietly. All right, here's my tree. To be honest with you, I mean it's super tight in here. I've got a point. I've got like two or three points there that go down. Is that they're bedded on those points and they work this way. There's not tons of sign here to be honest with you, but it's super thick in here. I don't know, we'll see. All right, here we go, evening hunt. It's four o'clock. Took me a while to get set up because I tried to do it quietly and take my time. We're supposed to get some rain around seven o'clock. So I'll probably get wet, but the hope is that they're up and moving before the cold front hits. So it's supposed to be an east wind, which is moving off to my right, and yet I, I can feel it on the back of my head. So that might, I don't know, that might be, that might be fine. But it's all right for where I'm sitting, I think. So I can see a little better now that I'm up here. I have a little more, some more openings than, than I thought, so it's still super thick, but I don't know. It's where I'm at now, so I'm here till dark. But we'll see what happens. I'm generally pretty good at finding spots that other hunters aren't at. Problem is the deer aren't there either. One of these days I'll cross paths with a big old Michigan public land buck. All you can do is keep trying. Trying new spots. It's only 6.05, but you can see how dark it's getting. I can actually hear thunder off in the distance. I'm gonna try to give it till 6.30, and then, uh, then I'm getting down. It's already been kind of a lousy day. I'm not complaining, but it's just not been a good day of hunting. As far as hunting's concerned, there's no sense pushing it to the last second getting rained on or being stuck in a thunderstorm. So, that's the plan. Well, this day just went from bad to worse. So, the weather said that basically it was gonna start raining at around seven, just light. By eight, it was gonna be a little harder. So I decided at 6.30, I was gonna get down. And then actually, at 6.15, I decided, you know what, I might as well just start getting down now. Well, literally as I turned to get ready to get down, all of a sudden you could hear the rain coming through the woods. And uh, it wasn't just rain. It was one of the stronger thunderstorms that I've uh, 
been in quite some time. And so I uh, <coughs> literally climbed down as fast as I could. And then I um, and then I ran basically a mile out of the woods or close to it probably three quarters of a mile I ran out of the woods left my sticks and my stand there because it was lightning and thundering just like crazy I thought I'm not about to carry that stuff out of the woods so I'm leaving and my stand and sticks are still in the woods and it's supposed to do this all night long it's supposed to stop around nine o'clock tomorrow so I'm going to have to drive all the way back tomorrow morning and grab my sticks in my stand and get them. I'm gonna miss church because of it probably. But uh, <coughs> yeah, that's, this has been one crazy day. And um, I guess you get those every once in a while when you, when you deer hunt. But first time I've ever been caught in a thunderstorm like that, that bad especially. And uh, just between the duck hunters 100 yards away this morning, I was up in my tree stand this evening, dropped my uh, backpack, thankfully caught on the second stick, uh, but it had my nader in it, so I had to rappel down carefully down two sticks to get the backpack. It just almost anything and everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And now this. So <laughs> I guess I'm just glad to be alive. I guess the saga's not over, and uh, tomorrow morning I'll grab my sticks and stand, and this weekend will be done. Well, it's the following morning, the rain has stopped, at least for now, <clears throat> so I'm going to go out and grab my stand and sticks and probably get out of here. Um, I'm not really worried, to, well, there's no vehicles here. Which is not surprising, but I'm not really worried um, that my stuff got stolen because I've got to find it where it based on where it's at, and um, so that should be. I think. I mean, I think I can get to it relatively easy, um, but we'll see. I still have to find it, so um, I just I'm not going to leave my stuff obviously sitting on the ground in the uh, in the woods. So, may I wish. I bet you right now these deer are probably up on their feet and going to start moving now that the rain stopped. But unfortunately, I can't hunt. Typically, I would be up and getting ready for church. But um, I'm not about to leave $900 worth of equipment sitting in the woods either. So kind of an unusual situation. So I'm just going to grab my stuff and I'm going to get going. I will be taking my bow, though, just in case. Cardinal rule, right? All right, all packed up, ready to go. Ah, uh, yesterday was quite the day. <clears throat> so there's a salt lick right there. And there is a tree stand right there. Public property here in Michigan. I'm looking around to see if there's a trail camera somewhere. I don't see one. I don't know, I'm not going to take it for one, and, you know, <clears throat> it's just not like me to start getting involved in other people's situations. I'm not going to call the DNR and, you know, tell them what's going on, I don't know, it's just not, obviously in a criminal situation where somebody's was going to get hurt, it would be different, but in this, I don't know, I just, that's just not who I am. But what would you do? Well, I got my stand and stuff and I'm back in my truck. Um, I figure while I'm here, I have another cellular camera and a non-cell camera. I'm gonna go grab the non-cell camera and just get it out of here. I don't know that there's a reason to leave it up. But um, I'm going to get the, I'm going to check the other cell camera as much as I hate to even go there. But the last few days, it's been completely dead. And um, I know that's, I know that um, and when I say dead, I mean dead by like not taking pictures. I know it's checking in, but um, 
a hunter walk through, I think a small game hunter, and since then I haven't got a picture, and that was a few days ago. I don't know if the deer have moved. Um, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna kinda go check it, and maybe there's a scrape closer to, uh, you know, closer to, um, or maybe there's a scrape at another spot or something like that that I can move that to. Maybe they're not using that one anymore. Possible. Anyway, I'll probably change. Well, I will. I'll change out the SD card as well. So that's kind of the plan. I'm I'm here, and I've missed church, so I might as well uh, at least take care of some business. So that's next on the agenda. Just got to drive over to the other parking spot. And so that completes my weekend. I'm pretty tired, to be honest with you. I was wondering why I'm so tired because I didn't. I slept, I don't know, seven hours last night, but um, I probably walked somewhere between five and six miles today. Um, walked in to get my my equipment, walked all the way out, and that's easy three quarter plus miles back there. Um, so I walked in, walked out, then I walked to get my other two cameras. That's a mile for sure, one way. Um, so mile back mile um, or mile in mile out and then I walked all the way back near to where I had my stand and sticks and set up a camera over some scrapes so that's why I'm tired um, but this truck is a disaster I've got stuff everywhere I'm gonna have quite a mess cleaning up but anyway if you're still here thanks for coming along appreciate you watching and uh, hopefully one of these hunts that I get out there I actually get to pull my bow on a big old Michigan buck. But we'll see you on the next video.